Hello there. My wife has told me that it's very important for us, now that we're living in California, to publicly celebrate October as being Black History Month in the UK. Even though we're thousands of miles away from the UK and I'm unable to travel there because she's confiscated my passport. London is one of the most diverse cities in the world, which I think is amazing, even though I choose not to live there. Obviously, I've left both the royal family and the UK, so I know that some of you will feel that I'm not really entitled to publicly push a divisive race-baiting agenda about how people within the British Isles choose to live amongst each other. But my wife says I've got to do what she tells me to, otherwise she's going to shove my stupid ginger head in a blender and use it to bake dog biscuits for her beagle. Personally, I've had a real awakening recently. I mean, I'm not awake enough to realise that I'm in an abusive relationship with a sociopath, but I've had an awakening about structural racism, which definitely exists and isn't just a deranged manifestation of paranoid psychosis propagated by dangerous megalomaniacs operating in a moral vacuum. I watched Ashley Banjo's George Floyd dance on Britain's Got Talent and I was really inspired to check my privilege. I know it received a lot of complaints from racists, but personally I thought a jaunty, light entertainment Saturday evening family show on ITV was the perfect platform to air racial grievances. I'm so glad that my wife has forced me to share her batshit crazy ideas about structural racism with you all. And it's not about blaming anyone, it's just about us all acknowledging that white people are evil. It's about helping children understand where they come from and where they're going in order to distract them from the dystopian nightmare of the present, where governments across the world have colluded in using widespread irrational fear of an overblown pandemic to significantly erode civil liberties, which took centuries to achieve. Anyway, thanks for listening, guys. I better go before she starts hitting me again.